Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly uh, or the middle of the month readings. I do want to let you guys know that uh, we decided to go with the shells today instead of using the tarot deck. So you guys definitely let me know if you guys enjoyed these readings so I can integrate them on the monthly readings, okay? All right, let's get into your reading, Leo. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the middle of the month of July going into the first week of August. Leo. Okay, let's bring you guys one of the messages for Leo's Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. Messages for Leo. Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right. Okay, Leos, um, there may be a lot of nostalgia going on with you guys. I think this could also have to do with the planet alignments because we still do have some in retrograde. Um, so again, there's going to be, that's if you're not already experiencing that. It could be looking towards the past, uh, looking towards past um, experiences, so whether they're positive or negative. Uh, there is a lot of reconnection to the ancestral side uh which could represent looking towards like having the need or wanting to know about your family your family tree um reconnecting with you know people from your lineage perhaps that you're not as close with or you haven't been as close with there's a lot of desire uh towards wanting to know more of your history or wanting to know more of your past uh, for some of you guys, it could also represent dealing. Um, I do have uh, this shell right here close to Jupiter. So I feel that for the month of or the middle of July going into the first week of August, a lot of you Leos have been experiencing strike of luck. Uh, so it could be almost like um, if you gamble, it could be that you started to notice that you are um, having a lot of stream of good luck. Uh, with anything that has to do with asar, which is a uh, gamble, uh, whether it's uh, lottery, whether it's, you know, casino, whether it's whatever it is, whether it's cards, anything that has to do with um, chance is basically uh, being amplified here for you guys. So this is definitely speaking towards uh, a lot of good luck surrounding you. Um, if you tend to be more on the shadow side, a bit more uh, pessimistic or a bit more negative, Leo, try to shake that off so you can truly be able to open yourself up to experience what good luck is. As I do see you guys um, coming into alignment with Jupiter. And again, we do have, I believe Jupiter is in retrograde as well, um, but it is being amplified here, which speaks about, again, like I said, a strike of good luck. For some of you guys, it could be unexpected alignment in regards to um, a position that opens up or a position that you were not expecting that may be offered or may be brought to you to the table. I do see uh, things coming or they're showing me almost like um, like a table. So for some of you guys, it could be people or a person, a particular person coming out of the blue and trying to connect with you or open up uh, to you in regards to their feelings. It's almost like they're putting the cards on the table. And, bling, and being completely honest or transparent in regards to their feelings towards you. For some of you, it could also be on the negative side. So if you've been dealing with the person that has been resistant uh, towards anything that is moving towards uh, the earthly, meaning uh, connection or commitment, anything like that, I do see that for the end of July, they will be speaking their truth. Um, so if their intentions have not genuinely been there for something long-term, they may just come out out of the blue, uh, tell you, or kind of, it's almost like, you know, when you vomit the conversation or when you vomit the words, kind of like that. It could be through uh, aggression. So it could be like a discord or an argument uh, where they just completely don't know how to filter themselves and they just openly say, you know what, I'm not looking for a commitment or you're not the type of person that I'm looking for for commitment. Um, I do feel it uh, aggressively. Um, but I think that they're doing you a favor, Leo, because they're being completely honest. And this is going to help you guide yourself back towards the path that you're supposed to be walking on. Now, we do have some here, which is uh, right by Saturn. And again, 
Saturn, we do have Saturn in ret retrograde right now, but it will be aligning and it will, going, it will be going direct on the 31st of July. So I feel that whatever it is that has been triggering you guys, you Leos out there in regards to the home life and to the family dynamic and stuff like that, I do feel that a veil will be lifted. There will be a lot of truths coming out. There will be a lot of... Um, Again, like I said, they're telling me that the connection to your ancestral blood or the connection to even a father or a father figure could be almost like if you guys haven't been on very good terms, I feel that there is a lot of healing that starts to happen and it's directly towards the father figure because Saturn does rule Saturn does rule father figure. Uh, so again, I feel that there's going to be a lot of mending happening. That's if you're not already experiencing that, Leo. Uh, for some of you guys, you guys could feel extremely tired uh, or have been experiencing feeling very tired. But I feel that, again, towards the end of July, that energy, it's like you start to take in the energy of the sun. You start recharging your batteries and realigning yourself. I do see a lot of these shows almost fell in a line. And what this is signifying to me is alignment for those of you guys that have or are currently looking for a partner or anything that has to do with relationships. I do feel that you're starting to open yourself up more, Leo. And this is opening up the opportunity to be able to connect with people on a dip, on a deeper level. For those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I feel that there's been a lot of resistance here. But I think that this resistance is coming from, again, past trauma or past relationships that were really hurtful, in particular one that was perhaps a very long lasting relationship or the most um, committed, the longest relationship you've had up until now. And I feel that there is a bond there. For some of you guys, it could be children that are involved and still trying to mend the fences. Again, like I said, in regards to um, pretty much getting along for the best interest of your child and i feel that this will start to manifest for you guys again like i said at the end of july um but as well when it comes to partnerships i do see you guys being able to uh make make room or open yourself or open your path towards a new beginning i feel that a lot of the times i don't know if you guys have ever heard like when you're talking to a friend and you're like you know i think it's time for you to move on or i think you should start dating again they're like yeah you know i've been I've been going out, I've been be, being more social and, uh, you know, just putting myself out there. But you feel it in the way the way that you express it. Like, they're not ready. And I feel that you guys have not been ready for quite a bit, for a while now. Um, but I think all of, all of this energy starts to shift. All this energy starts to, again, there's a lot of residue, uh, karmic energy that is being released. And I feel that you're starting to go back towards the path that you're supposed to be walking on, Leo. So again, I do see the opportunity for partnerships. Um, again, we do have Jupiter here being uh, highlighted. And again, the opportunity to connect to anything that has to do with uh, some commitment, anything to do with long term, anything to do with partnerships. This could be partnerships in regards to business as well. For some of you guys, uh, those of you guys that are entrepreneurs or that are starting or thinking of opening your own business or starting your own business, um, they are saying that definitely in the beginning of August, all of this burst of energy and ideas will start to come and flow through you. Do the best you can to really tap into that, to really listen to where you're being pulled because that's your passion. That's what you should be doing. And for those of you guys that still haven't you know, you don't know what your passion is, but you're still wanting or hoping uh, to find a different path from where you've been or where you've been working at or anything like that. I feel that you start to align yourself. And again, August the 12th is being highlighted here. I feel that for some of you guys, August the 12th is going to be very important in regards to partnerships. This could be partnerships relationship wise uh, for those of you guys that are single. For those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, there could be some type of proposal or some type of gift that I see here coming towards you. So it could be an engagement, it could be a ring, it could be some type of commitment coming through. For those of you guys that are single, it could be partnerships, not necessarily relationship-wise, but it could be, again, like I said, partnering up or figuring out that perhaps you have the same interest and desire in regards to business and opening or starting your own business as a friend or a colleague or someone that um, maybe the culmination where you decide, where you take 
uh, that leap of faith and decide, you know what, maybe this is something that I should try. Maybe this is something that I should uh, really put effort towards. And I do see you walking towards that opportunity as we can see here. Now, for those of you guys um, that have been ish have been having issues in regards to finances. Now, I don't mean difficulties, not, not being able to pay your bills and stuff like that, but uh, being a little bit restricted. I do see you guys uh, going towards uh, here earth, uh, which would signify the, the monetary, the physical aspect of uh, abundance or stability more than anything. And they are showing this, um, they are showing an opportunity coming towards you again in regards to finances. For those of you guys that have been is having issues in regards to like a past lover, past relationship, uh, anything to do with child support or like a pension, anything like that uh, of that legal nature, I do see that uh, again, the beginning of August, um, these opportunities start to align and the energy of abundance or stability starts to flow in. So again, for some of you guys, this could represent um, getting, as an example, if you've been trying to get child support or anything like that, I do see this coming through for you guys. Or for those of you guys that are dealing with anything that has to do with the court and the system, I do see that um, this will be coming out to the best of your interest. Now, in regards to blockages, again, I feel that um, Saturn as well as uh, Mercury is definitely uh, affecting you guys in regards to communication and processing emotions at the moment. But again, like I said, I do see a lot of healing that's happening for you Leos out there. So again, um, just try the best you can to uh, keep your composure, try the best you can. If you feel at some point that you're emotional or you get emotional out of nowhere, uh, try to sit with that emotion for a while, try to understand where it's coming from, what triggered it, so that you can be able to pinpoint or understand on a deeper perspective, what is it that you've been carrying? What is it that you've been bottling up inside? What is it that you've been holding dear and not wanting to express because you don't want to offend people because you don't want to disrespect? If you're feeling you're holding some type of grudge towards a father figure, again, like we see here in Saturn, um, all of this starts to come out and again i feel that there is a lot of not just healing but there's a lot of like um reconnection with the past uh reconnection with uh you know if you've been in bad terms with a father figure it doesn't necessarily have to be your father but it could be a father figure it could be grandfather anything like that um i do see you guys mending the fences i do see you guys uh, pretty much speaking your truth and being able to move on from that and something I tell all my clients, you know, 90% of the time, when we feel the need that it's necessary for us to forgive, it's not necessarily for the other person. It's for yourself to be able to uh, cut the cords, to be able to unattach yourself uh, or give your power to that person that has impacted you so greatly. When you forgive, you're releasing that connection. You're releasing that uh, blockage, you're releasing that anger, that frustration, that sadness, that hurt, and it's ultimately benefiting you, Leo. So I hope that this uh, reading helps you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely comment below, let me know, and I will try the best I can to integrate these into my readings. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.